It is time to crank up the heat. Welcome to the Famous Dave's All-Star Barbecue Series. I'm your host, Alex, AKA the LA Try Guy, and we are on a mission to find the ultimate pit master on the West Coast. We're hitting the road, traveling to three legendary barbecue battlegrounds, Fresno, San Jose, and Long Beach, California. In each city, the champion pit master will walk away with not only bragging rights, but $1,000 and a golden ticket. That's right, a golden ticket straight to Indianapolis to compete at the World Food Championships for a shot at the coveted $450,000 in prize money. The stakes are high, the competition is fierce, but only one pit master can reign supreme. Buckle up, because we're about to serve you guys some serious barbecue fire. This is the Famous Dave's All-Star Barbecue Series, and it all starts right now. Heart of California, Fresno. This city is known for its sunshine, agriculture, and of course, its legendary barbecue. I'm calling today's battleground the Fresno Barbecue Throwdown. We've got pitmasters from all over the Central Valley slinging their smoke kiss secrets and vying for that $1,000 coveted prize and a shot at Barbecue Glory. My name is Brian Padilla. I'm the head pitmaster of Nothing To It But To Cue It. We're out of Madeira, California. Hi, guys. My name's Amanda, this is Kirk. We're from AK-47 Barbecue. We're local here in Fresno, and we're excited to be here today. Hey guys, I'm Michael Rojas with Me and Mom's Barbecue. Uh, we're out of, based out of Fresno, California, and we're excited to be here. I'm Brett Haas with Kern County Pitmasters. We are a barbecue uh, catering company out of Bakersfield, California. Hi, I'm Brandon from Bakersfield, California, and we are operating under Bakersfield Barbecue Company today. I've traveled a lot. There's a lot of different regions, and I don't consider ourselves any particular way at all. I don't think we fall into a genre and if we do our restaurants more like a competition style. What makes our barbecue special? We try to be different than everybody else, different flavors, uh, different sauces, just have bring something different to the game. Um, so we're always trying to get that different feel to it. Just hit your taste buds different. This is something that kind of makes me special, is my barbecue sauce, it's my mom's recipe. It, I, I really believe it's what sets us apart and it's what brings home these, uh, these trophies. So I got my chicken that I'm, I'm doing for the comp competition today. This is gonna be something for the wild card and this is really my kind of a wow factor. These are bacon wrapped potatoes. And then on this side over here, I got my ribs going and they're, you can see they're, they're getting to the point where they're, they're ready to get, start to get I'll wrap them. We're getting it wrapped up right now. Got the color we want, so we're going to get, try to get it extra tender now. Hey, maple syrup ain't just for, for waffles anymore. Wait, why'd you put maple syrup on that? Just just adds a little sweetness because we got a lot of savory savory notes on there, so we want to get a little sweetness to balance it out a little bit. Back on there, and this is the brains of the operation right here. She just won't admit it. We're dedicating this competition to everybody that can't be here with us today. So Bill Fowler, uh, Nona Vita, my, my Nona Salvatore, my um, Aunt Cindy, and all the ones who basically passed on and couldn't watch us from above. So this one's for them. I, I mean, I've been barbecuing all my life. That's one of the things. The me and moms comes from me and my mom barbecuing on the patio. That's some of my biggest memories. And that's where everything comes from. What well, we're winning here and, you know, getting a chance to compete at the World Food Championship. And your family. You know, we've been we've been doing this for a few years now. This is the first Dave's famous Dave's event we've done, but we've done a lot of uh, KCBS events. It, it would make us feel good because you know we've been putting a lot of time and effort into this. So to get a, get a call and get an invitation to that would just it would be kind of a dream come true. So I think winning at WFC would bring it back kind of full circle for my family. My grandparents were five-star chefs. You know, my dad is an immigrant from Sicily, which is where my grandparents were chefs at until they immigrated to the United States. So bringing it back full circle would actually like show my family like, hey, the bloodline's still going and it's still going strong. Being able to have it with my partner who I trust with my life and it would be 
it would be amazing. As much as we talk crap to each other and as much as we say we hate each other, I couldn't imagine doing it without him. Go to the World Food Championships would be awesome. Uh, it's fun to compete, go compete with all the big boys at that level. Um, I think we got the, the kind of stuff that we can compete with and win. Uh, 400 grand to us, be another restaurant, be fun, take a day off. <laughs> Maybe go on a vacation, I don't know. I'm going to Disneyland. That's kind of one of those questions where I'd say, what would you do with 400 grand? Uh, what would I do? Uh, I'd give it away to all of my subscribers. All right, folks, time to break down the battle plan for the Fresno Barbecue Throwdown. Our pit masters will be throwing down in three smoking hot categories. First up, it's the classic, chicken. Judges will be looking for that perfect balance of juicy tenderness and crispy, flavorful skin. A true test of a pit master's skill. Next up, the crowd favorite, ribs. Here, it's all about that fall off the bone tenderness with a hint of resistance. All coated in that signature barbecue sauce that'll have your taste buds singing. Now things get interesting. This is the wild card round where our pit masters can unleash their creativity. They can cook anything their hearts desire as long as it's served on a silver platter. The wild card round is a chance for the pit masters to showcase their culinary versatility and wow the judges with something truly unique. This competition is about more than just smoking meat, folks. It's about creativity, passion, and barbecue mastery. So let's see what these Fresno pit masters bring to the table. All right, folks, before this competition heats up, let's meet the all-star team that's going to be separating the smoke from the sizzle. Hello Fresno, I'm Greg Stoby. I'm a blogger from Fresno and Tales of the Cork is my name. Hi there, I'm AJ Sanchez from Y101 Radio. What is going on? My name is Ray Morales, barbecue king underscore 15. Let's get it. My name is Eduardo Gonzalez from Rancho Cucamonga, Black Smokes Barbecue 187. You know, we met a lot of awesome people, but you know, we're here to do a job, okay? We got to tell the truth, we need to crown a champion. We're looking for the best of the best on the West Coast, you know what I mean? There we go. Yes. Wow, these are already looking so good. It's so hard to decide, you know? and wouldn't break with a bite. All right, talk to me, Edwater. How do you feel about the chicken round, bro? Man, the chicken round, man, it it was great, bro. You could taste the different types of woods that they use, the different sauces, their different uh, spice rubs, man. It, it's awesome to see all the work that they put into this, man. I had uh, I had some of the best bites I've ever had in my life. Oh my God, dude, I agree. Everything was so good. Now, I'm not gonna lie, dog. I had a little trouble with that third one, dog. Number three, I couldn't get through that skin. See, that, 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 that was a little troubling to me as well, man. I tried to get that bite through, but I kind of just stained my shirt. And, you know, when you're a, when you're judge... Oh, look, at, look at me. I'm done. Man. I'm done. I'm done for. But no, I'm excited for the ribs, though, man. Absolutely, man. We got ribs and ancillary next, so let's keep on judging, baby. Let's do it. The ribs are my favorite round. I love ribs.
is uh, smoke St. Louis rib, mouth watering, slow ribs, slow cooked to perfection over cherry wood for a tender, juicy bite. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. I'll give them to that juicy for sure. Yeah, ribs were perfect all the way across the board. It was a really tough, tough decision. Crazy good. Try to pick a favorite. Oh my goodness. The depth of flavor is amazing. This is so cool. All right, dog, which one was your favorite, man? Man, if you were to look at both of our trays right now, which bone is empty? No, right there. <laughs> That one right uh, there. Cinco, baby. <laughs> Yo, so that rib right there, Cinco, man, baby. It had an amazing bite through, brother. It had amazing smoke and that flavor, bro. Oh. That flavor. What you think about that flavor? Out of this world, man. Out of this world. They put their foot in that is what, what I like to say. They put their foot, their ankle, their toe, everything in that rib right there. Yes, that was sir. good. Yo, man, this is a blind competition. We have no idea whose rib that was. Who was. But we know damn well all across the table, <laughs> that's our winner right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. That's insane. Look at the rose on this. Look at this. It's like a flower. A pretty little bacon flower. You should give me a bouquet of these for Valentine's Day. Alright, I guess this is where the utensils come into play. Wow. Take it back. This is my favorite round. So much creativity in all the dishes. My flavor, the flavors just hit me in the face. I taste this, I taste that. There's so much going on, and I love that kind of stuff. That creativity really shines through in this round. That beef crib is unreal. Melted. Dude, melted. literally melted. melted. <laughs> the beautiful thing about the wild card round is that everybody puts their heart and soul into it, right? Everybody has a family favorite dish. That is what we're seeing in front of us. Five dishes that people cook for their families when they're gonna have one of those family nights, man. Everything is delicious. I think I put more tens on my scorecard this time around than in any other round I've ever been in, just because you could taste the the love and uh, and uh, you know all the love that just went into these dishes. So I know you feel the same way. Oh, I do, man. And look at that. Look at this beef rib. No effort whatsoever. No effort whatsoever. This is gonna be a tough one. Oh. Oh. All I have to say is wow. Everyone hit it out of the park on this one. Wild card is everyone's specialty of what they do 
at their house with their families, what they love to cook. It shows everything about who they are as a person. I, all, I, I just don't have words. Everything was delicious. Oh my goodness, that was insane. I think the wild card might be my new favorite round, bro. It's gotta be. There's no way you can beat the wild card round, man. Everybody puts their heart and soul into these dishes. Chicken, rib, that's required. Wild card, you make your best dish and present it to the judges. That's what everybody did here today. Bro, what was your favorite dish, bro? Man, to be honest with you, bro, it's really hard to decide, but I'm gonna lay it down for you like this. That tomahawk was amazing, that rose that they did, the creativity, the amount of work that goes into that rose, out of this world. The beef rib just melts in your mouth, man. Those mashed potatoes, amazing. The dessert, I have something amazing to say about everything that's been put in front of us. Just say, every last one of them was his favorite. <laughs> <laughs> but he's right, man. Everything was so good. This is the last round of the day. They're gonna tally up all the scores. We're gonna find out who our winner is. Oh my goodness, guys. That was absolutely amazing. I am stuffed. Shout out to all the judges. Shout out to all the competitors, man. The food was so good. We got all of our scores together. They're inside right now, tallying up everything, and we're gonna see who the winner is. So these are all the awards right here. I think the coolest thing about this series is the fact that everybody's gonna walk away with something, you know what I mean? Nobody's gonna go home empty-handed. Yeah, we can only give out so many golden tickets, but you see we have a first place in every single category. We really wanna thank all of you for coming out and participating. I hope you guys all had a great time, and let's find out who won. So I wanna first of all thank the Famous Dave's team. These guys have been amazing. Famous in every sense of the word. They're quite the crew. All right, so today we are going to be giving away three golden tickets to World Food this November in Indianapolis. Anyway, so let's get to it. Let's start with People's Choice today. There's no cash prize for this one, but you get a golden ticket. So, the overall winner for People's Choice by a landslide was me and mom. Come on up. <laughs> golden ticket. Thank you, thank you so much. Your first category this morning was chicken. So, in third place, and a prize of $300, me and moms. <laughs> All right, in second place, we have, and getting $400, Bakersfield Barbecue Company. Congratulations. All right, and in first place, and a prize of $500 and a beautiful trophy, we have nothing to it but to cue it. Come on up. There you go. Thank you so much. All right, guys, next up we did some ribs. <laughs> All right, and in third place, we have Bakersfield Barbecue Company for $300. Congratulations, guys. Second place, me and mom. All right, first place in ribs, and another show is nothing to it but to cue it. <laughs> Congratulations. Everybody loves Wild Card. It is a judge's favorite. So third place we had Bakersfield Barbecue Company. Come on up guys, tell us what you made. Surf and turf with the short rib and shrimp on polenta. All right, in second place we had AK-47 Barbecue. <laughs> I did a smoked bourbon uh, berry cobbler. And she showed up late. <laughs> All right, and in first place for wild card, me and moms. So I did a, uh, what you can call it a cowboy steak, or you can call it a ribeye, but I call it a big ass ribeye is what I call it. <laughs> and then I did a bacon wrapped potato rose. So that was kind of the kicker. So anyways, thank you guys. So reserve grand champion and an owner of this golden ticket and $400, me and moms. <laughs> And another trophy. Congratulations. Thank you so much. You are very welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So, enough of that. Grand champion, another beautiful trophy, and $1,000. Those two, nothing to it but to cue it. I am here with the reserve grand champion, guys. Talk to me, me and moms. How does it feel, man? Man, I, I can't even explain to you the feeling right now. Uh, this all 
uh, just comes down to my mom and, and, and cooking with her on the patio. And uh, when my boys come over and we have a beer on the patio, this is what it's about. It's about a good barbecue. It's about having fun and forgetting about everything else. Forgetting about all the other shit. This, we're having a good time. We're on the patio. You know what I'm saying? This is what it's about. And when it's that good, this is what happens. There we go, man. Well, hey, looks like you're headed to Indianapolis, brother. Yes, yes, Congratulations. Yes, yes. I'm proud of you. I'm sure your mother's yes. proud as well, yeah, man. Yeah, hell yeah. Congratulations, yeah. brother. Yeah, hell yeah. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. All right, guys, I am here with the grand champions, okay? How does it feel to be headed to the WFC with your golden tickets? Man, it's exciting. I, I, we had a great cook today. It was such a great event. Man, we're, we're totally ecstatic about it. I, man, I, wild dream, wild dream come true. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Wait. You guys. You guys are gonna go though, right? We're gonna go. Okay. Yeah. Good. 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 All right. What's up? How you feel? Very excited. Super thankful for Famous Dave's and my husband, who does a great job. Every time he barbecues, I'm gonna cry. Oh yeah. Well, hey. Congratulations, guys. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Thank you man. So much. Appreciate it. There you have it, folks. We've laughed. We've cried. But most importantly, we've had a good time. Our winner for the Famous Dave's All-Star Barbecue Series has been crowned here in Fresno, but be sure to tune in next week because guess what? We're headed to San Jose. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and let a brother know where should I go next. Get out of here.